Oh God, this is so bad, so bad. Oh, so this early morning I woke up, go on the internet, and I saw this bad news, this terrible news about how Afri Africans in China are being more treated by the Chinese government because of coronavirus. So I had to call a friend in China and he told me this thing is really going on. This is so sad because I don't understand why African leaders are idle, why African leaders are sitting, why the world, the, the world is looking at this go on. Oh God. At times I just don't understand if you are not human. It's time we realize how words and know that these Chinese, this Western words are not in for us. They are in for what we have. We have gold, we have timber, we have a whole lot of things. Why are we always depending on these people? Look at how these Chinese are more treating Africans. We are, we are too many. We are too many. We are too many. We are too many. They keep on shooting us. They keep on shooting us. Africa, like people wake up one day, take flight to China just to work and be more treated like animals. You are making the ideology of Africans not being able to think very clear. African leaders, you need to wake up. African youth, you need to wake up. This is so bad and I don't understand why we sit down and watch our people being more treated. Look at this video. Look at the video. Look at how this Nigerian ambassador, I don't know whether he will talk Oh, give me all the Nigerian passport. In the visa day, yeah. Hey, How many? I have three here. Yes, three. One, one. One down. How many? So he is the ambassador of Nigeria, with. but I don't understand. Look at how he's he's struggling to get passport from from these Chinese uh, uh, leaders or these Chinese uh, uh, people. This is so sad. This is so sad because we sit in our continent, allow people to come in, steal our gold, take everything that we have, and still make them feel like we, they are gods. We make them look like they are ten gods. This is so bad and it must stop today. I woke up this morning and I never knew this thing was really going to happen. Chinese telling us or Chinese trying to prove that Africans are the cause of coronavirus. We have Chinese people all around Africa and not a single person has been sent out from Africa because of coronavirus. And now they think they are okay because they have, they are, they are, uh, their cases are down, so they think it's rather from Africans, so they are pushing us out. I don't know what international treaties that our leaders signed with them, but this is so wrong. It's time Africans wake up and fight our own battle. We have to let them know our words. We can't sit down and watch them to just spoil everything for us, destroy our land, destroy our, our water bodies, and come back, send us here because more treat us anyhow. I just feel so bad in here. <sighs> Africa, our leaders, I don't know, but please, we plead with you people. Look at this video. Look at the pictures. It's so sad. Look at what they have written here. It's so sad. How can we sit down and watch these people more treat our people day in, day out? <laughs> They are racist, they don't care about us, even things that they send, even the, oh God. Our leaders, they need to wake up. Please, stop thinking about your selfish interests. It has to do with human. We are suffering as a continent. They are maltreating Africans in China, all over the world. This must stop. We have um, UN, other bodies over there. They should intervene. Send this video, guys. Push this video. Let it get to whoever that it needs to get to. Let them stop this immoral act. This is evilness. This is criminality. Police for no have it. Have a fire and say, "Enko." And they are about to get digi digi digi. They say, "Enfi da no ma." 
on a mon dieu, j'ai élevé ta roman. Avec ça, qu'est-ce que vous This is not something we should watch. I am not there as a mean. I have to sit here and watch people being maltreated and being bullied because I'm not there. That's not the mentality of humanity. We have to fight for ourselves. God, this is so bad. I I wish I wish there was no country like China. Because how can you push people? You had coronavirus not long ago. You 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 recorded the first case and right after that you are okay. The other world is suffering. We don't even want to talk about the economic why. We don't even want to deal with economics right now because we know so well that how on earth would a country be in this deep problem? Get out one day and now start making money from the same problem they were going through. Now the world is facing it. The other part of the world is facing the problem. And this same country that was going through this problem is now gaining money. It doesn't make sense. But we don't even want to touch on that. We wake up today and you're sending our people. You're maltreating them. Are they animals? Even you Chinese, you don't maltreat you in Africa. Huddled on cobbled streets with layers of clothing to generate heat under the cold skies of Wanzhou City, this is the new way of life for Africans living in China. The very color of their skin now means trouble, screaming of sickness to natives who bear a different skin tone from them. Africans have become subjects of racial profiling. Chinese nationals blame them for the rising number of new coronavirus cases in the country. They do want me to enter the subway. I had even bought my ticket that was for yuan and by the time I was going to to the subway they stopped me and then they told me that uh, no foreigner is allowed and I was like why this is a subway they say then they say that that is the rule then who am I to argue I want us to stay one place after we have spent 15 days in the hotel after quarantine quarantine us for 15 days they cannot allow us to stay one place. They didn't give us any hotel. This is so mad. This is so bad. We have to let them know that we are not their slaves. We are not their animals. They are not better than us. Please, African leaders, prove them wrong. Start doing something for us. Start doing something for Africa. That something that will keep maintain the people in Africa. And I think the problem right now. The problem right now has to do with the leaders. God help us through this, but please, Africans, we need to wake up, fight our own battle. We need ourselves more than these whites, these Chinese, these Caucasian, whatever they call themselves. We need our black society more than them. Let's unite and fight this battle. This is not the end of it. We all know so well that China is making money out of coronavirus. You recorded the first case, now you are no more having the problem and there is no proof that Africans, Africans or an African had this virus when it was recorded. The first person that was recorded was a Chinese, not an African. The first person that was recorded was a Chinese person, not a Ghanaian or an African or Nigerian or Togolese or whatever. Afri God. Thank you guys. I don't know what to say. We meet again.